So this is number 30 St. Mary's Axe, uh, otherwise known as the Swiss Row Building, otherwise known as the Gherkin. Um, it was designed by Foster and Partners and completed in 2008. This building was apparently one of the first ecologically designed tall buildings in London and there are various features within it which help it to reduce the energy consumption by about 50% compared to a sort of comparable office building. And it was awarded the very prestigious Sterling Prize in 2004. This is a really interesting building. The shape obviously is very iconic and it's now a kind of much loved part of the London skyline. This building has been designed in sort of six floor chunks. Uh, each uh, floor has got an atrium, a kind of triangular shaped atrium, and that shifts around every floor and it, it rotates rather every floor. And you can see the effect of that is shown by this dark bands going up around the building. It would be good, so you can get airflow across floors, you get some kind of level of stratification but the businesses don't tend to work as neatly as you hope they would and so the six floor chunks bit hasn't worked quite as well as they hoped. Uh, it is environmentally friendly and it, it'll cut down wind pressure across the building by the shape of it. They've had to think quite hard about how rain falls off the building so it doesn't shed in the middle and kind of come down as some sort of sheets of rain and, and uh, injure people. There's a sort of big moat around the outside of it where the rain can, can come down. One thing that I quite like about this building is that I think the public realm at the ground floor has been, has been really well designed and used. So as well as there being space to sort of walk around and sit down, there are various uh, cafes, a bar and some shops and things that are all open to the public. Um, which is quite unusual for these kind of uh, commercial office buildings where sometimes the ground floor is just a great big lobby instead. I think it's true, it's, it's very interesting to see how many people are wandering around and it's, it's, at this time it's business people, not tourists. They're using the public realm, they're going from one place to the other and they, the way they're moving around is uh, exactly what was predicted by Space Syntax, which is a spin-off from uh, UCL, from the Bartlett as well. It works and uh, another UCL <laughs> success.